Hey guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you guys have already been subscribed to the channel, thank you so much for subscribing. Today's video is a very bougie one. As the title says, we're going to review and test out Givenchy's Prism Leap Powder and I have in the shade 4. I'm super, super scared on how to use this powder and how it would look on my skin tone because it has four different colors as you can see. And I'm not a bougie person. <laughs> this actually landed in my collection because of Influencer. So full disclaimer, Influencer is the one who sent it out to me but they don't know I'm gonna make a video or not. They just wanted me to test out their product, which I'm gonna do. This is by the way, not a new powder. They definitely did come out with new shades in the Givenchy's line. So hence testing it out for you guys. I am very excited and pretty nervous because you know I have a lot of skin issues. So let's see if this bougie powder can transform the skin or not. So yeah, if you guys want to see how this powder looks on my skin tone, please keep on watching. So let me read a few claims that is written on the Sephora's website. By the way, this Givenchy's Prism Leap Powder is $58 and it has six shades. All are on the base of the skin's undertone and the skin tones. So I have the shade four, which is meant for medium skin tones. So they say Givenchy's Prism Leap Powder is a setting and a finishing loose powder designed to mattify, blur and illuminate the complexion with perfected makeup. Now, I don't know how it can do all of it because they're saying that it's going to mattify and illuminate that really contradicts in my opinion but we'll see how magical is this powder <laughs> i am very scared because this powder if you can see it has four different colors which is meant to mix all together and do some magic on the skin tones so i'm super excited this is the first time i'm going to use it it does come with a puff and uh, this is how the powder looks it is secured right now so that's why I can show you all the four colors. So it seems like it has more of a skin tone powder then it has like a peach which is I think for correcting the dark circles. A purple powder which is meant to brighten the skin complexion and a green powder to combat the redness on the skin. All of which is already there on my skin. I basically do have a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes and some mascara and brows, that's it. So what I'm planning to do is half of the face only using the powder and see how it looks just on like a moisturized skin with just a little bit of concealer. Once we figure how that looks, then we're gonna do a full face of makeup and then use this more as a finishing powder and see how that looks. So let's begin. They say the Prism Leap Loose Powder locks in the makeup with a sheer matte finish that feels natural and weightless on the skin. This soft, ultra-refined powder instantly blurs imperfections, reducing the appearance of the pores and minimizing texture in the complexion. Texture. <laughs> okay, let's begin. So, let's take this out. Where is this? This is a super bougie powder for me, I would say. Like, I, I don't think I have any powder which is $58 worth in my collection. So, super excited, super nervous. So what they say is to put the puff and then shake two times, uh, which I think I did two, three times, okay. <laughs> and then, so this is how they're saying, the powder will come on the puff. And if you're doing it on the bare skin, you just press the powder on the face. By the way, I should have done a before and an after, right? Okay, so this is how the before looks like. And you can see the skin texture, like pores, I don't have much of pores, I would say, but I have a lot of texture. So that's how it looks. And also on the T-zone, I would say. So let's do one side. And they say just to press it on the skin. Oh, I think I can see some blurriness happening. So let me be very, very close to you guys. As you can see, I have a tiny little bit of pores <laughs> coming through here and shininess, obviously. So, and this side is with the powder. So you can definitely see it mattified my skin and it also blurred out the skin. It, it's actually brightening also, right? Let me do it once again, okay? <laughs> I can see the brightening effect, maybe because I've not applied it underneath the eyes. So let's do that.
because I've not set my concealer. Yeah, can you not see? I think I can. I totally can see like blurriness and it's super smooth on the skin. So this is the before and this is the after. I really hope that you guys can see the difference. So that's how it looks with like no makeup, only the powder with a little bit of concealer, I would say. So now let's see how it looks on top of the makeup as a finishing powder. Because the thing that I am really concerned about is all these powder mixing together. So what I'm going to do for the finishing powder is I'm going to just dump a little bit of powder on the cap and I'm going to swirl everything together, see what color it makes and apply it on the medium skin. So let's begin. <laughs> because there's not a lot of powder, I don't think it's gonna create a problem on the foundation. So for the foundation, I'm gonna take my Bare Minerals Original Liquid Foundation because this is the foundation that I'm testing for this month. So let's apply that. I've applied this foundation quite a few times this month, I would say. I am in the shade Medium Beige 12 and I am gonna just put this with a sponge and cover up my spots i'm not using my brush just because i've already applied the powder right so i don't want it to create some weird things on my face so i'm quickly gonna put this foundation all over my skin just a light layer let's use the ColourPop concealer because i'm well aware how this concealer works on my skin by the way in this i am in the shade medium dark 32 A tiny little bit on the spots. I mean, I say tiny little bit, but I have spots all over my face. <laughs> so, wherever I have spots. <laughs> Since we are on the cream products category, let's just finish everything with the cream products. So for the bronzer, I'm going to take my Soul Face and Body Cream Bronzer. Am I off the screen? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> so I'm going to take this and this is in the shade Dark. So I'm just going to apply it where we apply our bronzer. So basically in the perimeters of the face. The day I'm filming this. Oh my God. I have so many TV shows lined up. I am not a big TV person. Especially Indian uh, shows like the TV shows. I do watch a lot of dance. I am very very connected to dance. So I used to do a lot of dance which I've not done after marriage. Uh, not that I cannot do but yeah I just do not get the time. But I am so interested in all these dance shows and the adventure shows. If you are from India you guys know. Oh my god. I watch a lot of like India's Best Dancer and dance India dance and you know all those things so it's the finale of India's best dancer I'm so excited all of them super super talented I love Rosa and I love Zamrud I am from southern part of India like my parents are from southern part of India so I feel like super excited when I see Zamrud dance he's a little bit on the healthier side and he dances like oh my god if you want to see how feelings come out of a person you should see him dance like I love, I love the way he dances and expresses himself. Also, talking about TV shows, oh my god, I do watch Big Boss. If you guys do not know about Indian TV shows, these are all like reality shows, okay? Reality TV shows. And it's, it's similar to Big Brother, but in Hindi. I do watch Big Boss. I love Tejasvi. I love. Oh my god, I love the way she plays. I love how competitive she is. I can totally, totally relate to her. Oh my god, even that's the show that's coming to an end. One more week to go, at least the time when I'm filming this. Maybe by the time this is recorded and it is edited and it is put up, the winner is already declared. <laughs> but I am rooting for Tejasvi. So yeah, let's see. Let's move on to the blush. For the cream blush, I'm going to take my Flower Beauty Blush Bomb. And this is in the shade Cheeky. So this is more like a mauve tone blush. I'm going to take a tiny little bit, like that much. Can you even see like that much and just put it on the temples of the cheek not doing any crazy makeup just because I'm planning to film a video after this too 
So I'm gonna wear it for the whole day, but I'm not gonna do a wear test. I will leave how it all wears throughout the day in the description box below, just because I would be with two different eye makeup because I'm filming with one of the palettes from the Odin Side Diversa collection and I'm doing like three looks. So I don't want you to see my looks, like how my eye looks turn out. So I'm gonna keep that as a secret. <laughs> For the highlighter, I'm gonna take this Becker Shimmering Skin Perfecting Liquid. I don't even know whether you can find it or not, but any liquid highlighter would do. <laughs> Mine looks like this. I need to finish this. And this one is in the shade Opal. So I'm gonna take it on the sponge, just run it across the temples, just for like a subtle glow. By the way, back onto the TV shows. If you are watching those shows, let me know who is your favorite. Oh my God, I cannot. I cannot wait, the excitement is real. Okay, <laughs> okay, now let's move on to the Givenchy powder, which we are talking all about today. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. So first, let me just set my eyelids with it. It is definitely smoothening. I mean, I can totally see the smoothening effect. Uh, I took off the puff. I'm gonna just put a little bit. Oh my God, a lot came. <laughs> so that's how it looks. I'm gonna just shake it up. What kind of color it makes. I'm so scared of the color, green and purple. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. So after mixing, it's super fine. I don't know how this is gonna look. It looks like my skin tone powder, but with a little gray effect. I am terrified to apply this. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do it first underneath the eyes. Oh, that's too much. I mixed my powder with the same brush. This powder does have a scent. It's a very faint scent, but it is a little perfumey scent. So if you are sensitive to a scent, I just wanted to mention that. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It is definitely smoothening my skin texture. Like, for sure. Man, that is smoothening. No one can deny that. It is definitely smoothening. I actually did not expect this powder to do much but it's definitely working. So I'm gonna finish off my lips. I'm gonna take my KKW's 2.5. I don't even know how this came out so much. What is up with KKW? I mean, why is it not coming back? I'm only concerned about the lip liners actually. Like I, I really love them. For the lipstick, I'm gonna take this new Milani lipstick and this is from their like that flower collection and this is in the shade Peony which is 310. A beautiful pinky mauve shade. You know, I'm not a big pink wearer, but I think that this might work for me. So let's see. Especially with that brown lip liner. See, I can totally make it work. But this works so smoothly. I love it. I absolutely love it. So this is how my complexion is looking like. Let me give you a close up on how everything looks. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I absolutely loved playing with this powder and I think this has worked beautifully on my skin. I definitely see less amount of texture on my skin. But, I mean, it's not magic. The texture would not go away, but because it's like a skin loving ingredient powder, I think with like constant usage, you can definitely see the difference. But at a distance, I definitely feel like my skin looks much, much more smoother and more perfected. I can totally say yes to all the claims that they uh, said. And I am super excited that this is in my collection. I'm gonna wear this for the whole day. Right now, it's super early in the day. So it's around 8.30 in the morning. And I am gonna wear it throughout the day because I'm filming another video. And I will let you know in the description box below how it wore throughout the day or on the screen for you guys. So yes, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do like reviews, product recommendations, get ready with me. Do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring the notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post next. I generally upload three videos every single week, every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.